Hello everyone, welcome back to Limited of Adhesion Prime, and this is Season 9, Round 6, The Feature Race at Haref. My name's Gareth, and joining me once again in commentary is Jules. Jules, how are you? I'm good. It's, it's a feature, it's, it's just a sprint, which I guess means time practice, eh, Dave? Well, it's okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Poor Dave. <laughs> Poor Dave. Anyway. Reverse good poll goes to Dan Rice, who finished eighth. Congratulations last to race. Dan, yeah. Good best of luck with that. Uh, Mark Zeff on the front row as well, Cool Camel Gold. And then we've got James Pepper, who had a great race to P6. He starts from third. David Lagakeki is in P4. Ben Chowcroft in fifth. And Gavin Kelly, Rob Miller, and Alex Murphy, who were the podium. Then we've got Stephen Maxwell, Carlos Navarro, Tom Lauren, who had an adventurous race uh, from his penalty up to 11th. Then Meester Skymer, Winslay, Bright, Pepper, and Forrester. Yeah, lots of work for Winslay and Bright to do from all the way back there, as well as Forrester. And obviously, a lot of work for Miller and Murphy to get through the pack back up to the front, which they will try to do. Yeah, we wait for Mark Zeff to put his makeup on and hit the grid. But rice and Rice leading <laughs> <laughs> overall and Club 1500. Rice, Rice, baby. Oh, Zeph's in the pits. Maybe he yeah. didn't fancy it. Or no, actually, I think he, he had a penalty. Ah, right. And he forgot to serve it, and we were kind enough to allow him to serve it this race. Oh, so he's just sat there, agonising. <laughs> that is agonising, yeah. So Dan Rice leading the way. James Pepper to his outside. Does it come down to turn two? And David Lugakeki looking to make short work of these guys and scamper off into the lead, because Ben Charcraft is right behind him. As is Gavin Kelly. Look out and then Miller and Murphy as well. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, here come the speedy boys. So and does holding the defensive line, though, no way through. And Peckers, actually, Peckers. Darwin's all free wide for the podium, guys. Yeah, Kelly's gone wide. He's very wide and off the track, but it is Pepper who took the, the lead from Dan Roy, so... Here comes Glugger Ketty though, down the inside into the hairpin. Big lock up for James. You mentioned about his braking bias and uh, looks like he still hasn't done that. He's still getting away with it though. He made the corner, which is uh, all corner. you can ask for, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's Pepper from Glugger Ketty now, uh, past Dan Rice. And it's Chowcraft who is looking to depose him next. Miller. So Mullaren has managed to sneak in between Murphy and, uh, and Miller. Yeah, he's had a great start to the race. So as we come into this very fast final sector before the big breaking zone of the final corner. Uh, wow, up. that's a yeah. massive lockup, and that's let good kick you through. Yeah. But James carries that exit speed. How's Even with the huge lockup and going wide, he just carries the speed. If that was a real car now, his vision would be going seriously wonky. Oh, oh he's done it. Yeah, one. and all of his fill-ins would be coming out. Obviously, he's far too young to have any fill-ins, but... Yeah. <laughs> but I know he's had problems with his knees and things, and that'll be smashing under pieces with the vibrations. Indeed. Dan Rice is under enormous pressure from Ben Chowcroft there. He's trying to set him up for the straight here, see if he can get a good exit. Yeah, smart Looks like racing. he has. Oh, Murphy was in the gravel trap there. He was going very wide, and that's allowed Ma uh, Maxwell to line up to his inside. Big lockups up front. Lots of lockups all around, actually. Pepper still somehow holding on, but is Glugakeki going to try and go round the outside of him? Glugakeki is... was past, so I'm not. <laughs> So it looks like Pepper's made it all the way back. He must have got a good exit and, uh, and now braked him into that corner. Looks like yeah. there was contact possibly there. So Keki on the back of Pepper. And that's where the no slots had contact in race one. You're going wheel to wheel Malarin. These two are title contenders in two of our other series. Yeah, it just shows you how well Malarin has done at the start of the race and uh, Murphy's just not settled in yet, has he? No, they're both still side by side as we go through these flat out rights. And you've got Maxwell behind, you've got Kelly, you've got Geimer, you've got all all drivers battling. This is looking very exciting. Oh, we've got someone around in the background. It looks like it's Winslow falling down the order. Glugger Keki's still not past James Pepper. What's going on? 
He's uh, he's had several bites of the cherry, but James just locks up and carries the speed out the corner. Mental. Oh, look at this then. Mob Miller is through on Chowcraft. Nearly got a bump. He's yeah, he's got to say he's made the progress uh, versus Murphy. There's a, like a kick he goes onto the gravel trying to look for a way past. Let's see how Miller does when, with the fast exit here. They're Everyone's all gone the wide. <laughs> Chowcraft and Rice both through the gravel trap and that's allowed Miller to get through on Rice. He's up into P3. Pepper defends from Glugakeki and that's uh, allowing Miller just to scamper onto the back of them here. Got to say, yeah, Miller's probably fancying his chances at this point, but Pepper is defending. It's astonishing that I'm calling it a small grid with 17 cars because when you think about season one, where we had all oh, oh. contact, Glugakeki's round. He just, uh, I think, oh, and he's clipped out. Uh, that's Chowcroft. Oh, no, that's and, it. He's definitely out. No, that's Navarro. Yeah, Navarro as well. Oh, huge shame. It looked like he just tried to go to the inside and it just wasn't happening. Yeah, Carlos's just car looks broken. No. So, Pepper versus Miller at the front. Yeah, let's and see. And Murphy, can... uh, through all of that, has got through into third. Fastest lap for Miller, look. So we have Ooh, big snap. Four, four in the pits. Yeah, big snap there. Four in the pits and one out. <laughs> yeah, that's that Winslow's parked it. As you say, here comes Miller then. And this is that crucial fast corner then to get the good run down to the hairpin. Yeah, yeah. Avoids the dirty air, gets a good exit in the slipstream. Let's see what James is going to do. Defends the inside. Oh, Maxwell, second mistake then. Did he make a mistake in turn race one? I think he did. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we saw him facing in the wrong way. He didn't we? Yeah, because he reversed in the gravel out of the way. That's right, yeah. Okay, so Pepper's got about 10 minutes of this to soak up. He wants the win. That's uh, Simon Geimer then under enormous pressure from Kelly, who was on the podium in race one. And here comes Murphy. Kelly's past Geimer. Geimer's gone wide. Yeah, nice move there by Kelly. Geimer's looking to fight back. Yeah, these two, these two corners here are absolutely flat out. As yep. Miller makes oh. an almighty dive up the inside of Pepper, <laughs> makes contact, but he's through. It was a bit of a bump pass, but it was clean in a way. I mean, that's confusing to say, but... Oh, James isn't done with this, so he's down to the inside as they're going to turn one. Who's that going was to be classic. Breaks? Oh, Miller. Miller switched around the outside, that outside speedy speedy line. I was going to say, it's kind of like, a, you know, a door-to-door -door pass, like you see in touring cars, but these cars don't have doors. Yeah. Yeah, he timed it to perfection to get it on the two wheels rather than the wheel-to-pod, side-pod or wing which could result in a, a bit of a mess. See how uh, how well Murphy does his turn now. He's going to want to get past Pepper if he can as soon as possible. And, oh, Pepper's just giving Made it, it really to him. Easy, yeah. He's going to say otherwise he's gonna, Miller's going to get too far away. Geimer hasn't finished with uh, with Kelly, look. And there's uh, Russell Bright then in P6, so he's uh, having a nice recovery drive. Very different lines from them two, though. Geimer was a lot wider into the into the corner. Yeah. And yeah, as you say, Bright is uh, having a much better race than he did race one. <laughs> You're channeling your uh, your Jim Kimberley there. <laughs> Talking about the different lines. <laughs> it just seemed so stark. It's like Kelly was a lot tighter in there, but they kind of both came out the same. I don't. I don't think the drivers have. Quite doesn't feel quite na um, nailed on with some of these corners for our drivers yet. Maybe because it's I mean it's the first visit for the LOA to this track, isn't it? With prototypes, but uh, yeah, yeah, exploring the lines still. It means you certainly use a lot of the off track here. You, you look like you're off the track, but you're actually not. Yeah, and it's a 
it's a massively wide circuit as well, isn't it? It is indeed. In these little F4 cars. I mean, obviously, this is a, a former F1 testing ground. Yeah, I don't know. They race motorcycles, don't they, around here? Which would be even smaller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's a recovering Glen Kecky under attack by Forrester. Forrester looks to the outside. See if he can get a bit of a cutback. Lauren in the pit lane. Um, we didn't see him having a crash, did we? We saw the other guys getting involved. Yeah, he it's must clever. have had something happen to him. Hmm. But he was having a nice recovery job. He was up in the top plate. <laughs> Look how wide. Oh, oh no. Rice is run. Oh, that's a big shame. Lost his rear. Yeah, he tried to come back on too soon. He should have done what Pepper did there, Steve Pepper. Yeah. Just kind of just accept it and ride it out. Fortunate. And uh, here we go. Round two. We will draw battle resumes from the first race. The positions are swapped. Yeah. In fact, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen in third and fourth, whether Kelly will get through. Oh, oh it's Chris Forrest in the final corner. Yeah, whether Kelly will get through to uh, to make the same podium people or whether he will stay behind uh, James Pepper. You just see them in the background there. And you've got Geimer just behind as well, who obviously fancies his chances of the podium. Pepper... Kelly's got the speed, but it seems to me that Pepper either defends amazingly or he goes off and you get past. So we'll uh, we'll see. Yeah. Lap seven of twelve, then. We've only seen one move really come off against him, and that was Miller absolutely sending it and then just <laughs> blocking him on the apex of his wheels. Yeah. <laughs> Murphy's got a great run there, down the back straight. You can have a look. Miller's defending the inside. Only needed to make a half move. That was enough just to uh, to tell Murphy that it wasn't on this time. Here we go then. Here is the battle for third. Pepper, Kelly and Geimer. And he's bright going to get on the back of this as well. He's not far away, you know. Yeah. Start battling, you may well do. Everyone else very strung out, but we've got a great battle here for the win. We've got a great battle for P3. This is looking exciting. Here comes Kelly. Will these corners flatten the LMP3? Don't know. Oh, you didn't test it. No, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to, unfortunately. Kelly looks to the outside, cuts back, but what are doing? No. Here comes M Murphy or Miller. Carry so much speed into this corner. Yeah, yeah. It's quite fun with the uphill braking zone, isn't it? Do you think it's uh it could be where they got the inspiration for Kota to turn one? Me. Kelly to the outside, round T two. Can't move off this one. I'm sure I wasn't saying anything important. I can't remember, so it can't have been that good. <laughs> We've got three minutes left of this race. Is it See, Murphy's that? following Miller a lot closer than Miller was able to follow Murphy. But it's still a case of, can he get past? Yeah. Here comes Kelly. And round the outside, oh, he's out, breaks, he spun! Kelly's round. Cost a couple of positions there. That's, uh, oh no, one position. Bright's gone past, but the other car is lapped, I think. It's Chowcroft, yeah. What happened Chowcroft? Oh, he was involved, wasn't he? In Took a look at Keke Crash, yeah. The clash a few laps ago. So, Simon Geimer, the focus now moves to him. Can he make the move on Pepper to claim, I think this is fair, it'll be his first uh, LOA podium? so much more hard to keep track of these things these days now that we don't have 12 drivers. Yeah, it really is, yeah. Remember, remember the old days when we made a big deal when someone got their first podium? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember, like, Dixon's first podium. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And we mentioned it in the next race. Can't do that now, it's too many drivers. <laughs> oh, just, yeah, I don't have the spreadsheets going these days. 
I'm trying to produce so much stuff. Uh, yeah, well, it's, uh, yeah, it's exhausting. Getting old. Oh, I was going to blame it. We've got too many people. <laughs> yeah. Murphy is looking really close here. He's practically pushing Miller up the hill. Yeah, great the aero wash is not bothering him, and it looks like they've got some traffic up ahead as well. Navarro. Bloody See if that affects it. Not long left. No. Of course, Murphy doesn't need to go for this, really. He's pretty much got this championship sealed. I don't even think it's pretty much. He's won it, isn't he? <laughs> it's just... I mean, if, if he doesn't show up, then maybe someone else can catch him, but it's unlikely. Yeah, but as we saw uh, before this round, it's the, the battle for P2 in the championship is very interesting. Indeed, yeah. Two, two LA originals, Miller and... Miller is going to miss next round. Yes. So that will give Kelly a chance to get a bit of breathing space. Yeah. I think about he is back for Suzuka. And he's another one who absolutely loves Suzuka oh. and Spa and stuff. So, yeah. I was say, Alex was actually... This is like the closest he's looked to having to try and make a move here. Can he send it into T1? Surely this is going to be the final lap of the race. Let's see... No white flag yet. Yeah, you'd expect so. We've hit the 15 minutes anyway. Yeah. Pepper's still holding on from Geimer. I'm trying to go round the outside. Dives to the inside for T2. No, thinks better of it. He's got to be careful because they're slowing them, a pair of them down. Bright is closing in and we know he is no slouch. Yeah, he's going to get a nice toe up the hill yeah. from both of them. Right, yeah. this is surely going to be your chance. We don't have a white flag, but surely this is the last lap. It's got to be, yeah. Murphy's shaping to the inside. No, he's backed out of it again. Oh, has, has Miller outbraked himself a little bit? Go wide, but Murphy has nowhere to go with it. No, Murphy had a much better exit though out of the hairpin there. Cheeky look to the inside, but again, he's just trying to put him off, really. Yeah, and then a very tricky braking zone into this. This right is just just sharper than you think, isn't it, really? And then this one, you need a little lift to get the turn in. And then flat chat to the final corner. Miller really on the limit there, making sure as Kelly has gone Goes, off into the gravel. How far off the track was he? He was miles away. <laughs> slept, slept Maxwell past. So we need to cut back to the leaders. We're looking at the battle for third place. Here we go. It looks like third Miller's done enough. Great win for Rob Miller. Alex Murphy coming home in P2. What a fantastic battle those two had. Oh, oh Brett's round! round. On the final corner, agonising. Is James Pepper on the podium? Congratulations, James. And Go Simon Geimer. Off. Yeah, very nice P4. <laughs> Kelly mugging Bright on the line. Mark Zeff has come home in P6. Oh, and is that Maxwell getting past Bright as well? It is. Indeed, yeah. So, nice quiet drive from Mark Zeff then from the pet lane to P5. Celebrations starting already for James. Don't blame him there. Yeah, he doesn't need any of that rubber. Get rid of it all. Well, he's already left half of it on the track with all those crazy <laughs> lockups. <laughs> yeah, but that was the front, not the rears. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Rob Miller wins the feature race at Haref from Alex Murphy. James Pepper on the podium. Congratulations to James. Mark Zeff, great drive to P4 from the paint lane. Gavin Kelly in fifth after a couple of adventures. Stephen Maxwell was a fortunate sixth place after Russell Bright dropping it in the final corner. Massive commiserations to Russell. Steve Pepper, correct drive to eighth. Uh, Simon Downer in ninth. Dan Rice uh, falling to tenth, but still picking up nice points there. And it's Steve Pepper who wins the Club 1500 race from Dan Rice and Rich Misters in third place. So we wait to see how the championship has shaken out after those two races. Here we go then. Alex Murphy's still on top, as you would expect, and he's got the championship, hasn't he? He's uh, over 169 points clear. Gavin Kelly in second place. Rob Miller is in third, but there's only 10 points between them, so that's going to be very exciting to see. Tom Lawrence in fourth. Ben Chowcraft up into fifth place. Afonso Aguayo. We've not seen Afonso for a little while. Hope he comes back soon. 
Michael Messenger's been missing for a little while as well, and Russell Bright just behind him. Looking at the Club 1500 standings, which Meester's is on top, Steve Pepper's gone back up into second place, but I know he's going to be missing around soon, I believe, so he's going to struggle to uh, complete the championship from there. Think Miles in third. So then, uh, Intergalactic Euro of Auto Racing on top in the club in the team's championship. Stupid Gary in second. The A team's back up into third, posing Wizards Black Sapphire. Bit of a pull yeah. up, no slots, but they've gone up one. Indeed, I think Stupid Gary could threaten the top if, if Dom's back for Watkins, Scanlon, and Suzuka. Two people scoring. We'll see. Yeah, could be a good round. So Watkins Glen coming up then, that's always a great race for uh, slipstream battles and passing. So do come check it out, it should be very exciting. Here's the socials, tickle the like button, subscribe, etc. I hate when this YouTube plug <laughs> It feels so fake, doesn't it? <laughs> See you later, Jules! See ya!